Can you take the championship from DNZ? This year, you can play our football pick 'em on CBS Sports and compete against us in the option every week. Check the link in our Instagram bio, Fade Brown Podcast, for all the details and to sign up. Then tune into the Fade Route every week until the Super Bowl for updates and standing. Bring it on. It's Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with D and Z. Here are your hosts, D and Z. Welcome, everybody, to Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with D and Z. I am Z, and here's how it goes. D and I gave you our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy starts for green lights and top 1, 2, 3 fantasy sits or red lights. We're going to start with our green lights first. Who are your green lights for week 16, D? All right, it's playoff time. Let's go. You're still listening to this. You're in the semis with a chance to book your trip to the championship game. My first green light, he's starting for me this weekend. And tomorrow night, it's Chris Olave. No injury designation going into the game. No guts, no glory. I usually hate Thursday night games, but I'm all in on Chris Olave. Number two, Jake Browning. Hard to not believe in the guy. He gets the offense, and he's making the most of his opportunity. I know Chase is out. Don't let deter you from starting this young man. At number three, I mean, if you were lucky enough to still have him, I traded him away like an idiot. But James Cook, so, man, I wish I didn't trade him. I could really use him this weekend. But if the Bills run their offense the way they did against Dallas, they cannot be stopped. Z, what do you got? Good ones. All very good ones. I'm going to start with Sam Laporta against the Vikings. Statistically, he's one of the best tight ends in the entire NFL, not just one of the best rookie tight ends in the NFL. So slowly but surely, he is starting to ascend that mantle. And I think that Jared Goff will find him early and Jared Goff will find him often. Number two, I like Rashad White against the Jaguars. The Jaguars are starting to, they're they're starting to show that they're a little bit of a fraud. So that division is up for grabs. The NFC South is up for grabs. And I think Mr. White is going to have a great game for the Bucks. And then last but not least, I have to go with Russ against the Patriots. The Patriots are no good. Right? They're regardless of their defense, they are no good. And I think Russ is going to want a a get-right game after last week. I think he has a chip on his shoulder and he wants to prove to his coach that he is the guy that's going to push them forward. It's a very favorable, very, very, very favorable matchup on Christmas. But those are our green lights. Who are your red lights, D? All right, first up, I've got B. John Robinson. I mean, by now, you already know <laughs> you cannot count on this man as long as Arthur Smith is calling plays. Number two, I know it might sound odd, but I'm out on Joe Flacco. It's certainly been a magical, but I think the Texans will bring Joe down to earth a little bit on Sunday. I'm not, you know, I think I still have the Browns winning the game, but I think Joe's going to have a tough day, I think. And number three is Antonio Gibson. I think some people might have picked him up thinking, you know, catch lightning in a bottle because, uh, you know, Brian Robinson's out. But let's be real. Their run game is is brutal. And he's not catching enough passes for you to rely on him. That's very true. Very, very true. I am going a little running back heavy here. I'm I'm starting with Derrick Henry. He just looks beat up, man. Ah, you're killing me. Yeah, he looks. He's he starting for me. Ah. But dude, like you, you see it. I mean, Father Time is undefeated, unless your name's Tom Brady, like we discussed. But you can't take that many hits. You just can't. And Derrick Henry is paying the price right now. 
my second set. I got to go with Saquon against the Eagles. They have one play. One, <laughs> the, Gi- the Giants have one fucking running play. Saquon up the middle. One fucking play. One play. One play. It's always Saquon up the middle. It's either out of the gun, it's a draw, or it's a power up the middle. Yeah, no. Figure out something else to do with the guy. Although he's probably going to be gone at the end of the season anyway, so, you know, whatever. Do do not start Saquon Barkley against the Eagles. And then number three, I would stay away from Gus Edwards against the Niners. They just lost Keaton Mitchell for the season, you know, torn ACL, and, and then some. So that means Gus Edwards is going to be your bell cow back. Niners are very stout. Very, very, very stout. So, tough sledding for Gus Edwards. Those are our red lights. Those are our green lights. What are yours? Hit us up. Fade route mail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast or drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Time for us to run the gold ride again. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.